Hello, welcome to the Finite Math Podcast. Today I want to consider a special type of decreasing annuity, namely mortgages. Now the goal is to set up a template that's going to allow us to investigate the effect of various changes would have on our monthly payments, namely changes in interest rate, for example, or terms. Now, to set up this template, I have the labels as usual in the left-hand column. So let's take the information we're given and we want to enter it in the upper block. So the loan amount was 150000 Okay, the rate per year is 6%. Always making monthly payments 12 times a year, and we're setting this problem up to do it for 30 years. <clears throat> okay, let's see how we calculate our uh, internal uh, parameters that we need here. The rate per period, well, that's just going to be the annual rate divided by number of periods in a year, by a half a percent. Uh, total number of periods, that's pretty clear too. 12 times a year times 30 years. Now, here's what we have to uh, look at. Uh, there's a built-in formula for payment. That's the PMT formula. And if we open it with the open parentheses, we can see the variables here of what we can need to fill in. First is the rate. Now, the rate is the, the uh, monthly rate, so that's a half a percent here in B10. You move to the next variable by uh, pressing a comma. Number of periods involved, that's 360. Now the present value, as if it's a, a decreasing annuity, it's just going to be the loan amount. So we can ignore the remaining uh, factors here. We don't want any money left to be owed when we finish and things like that. So we can close that out with a uh, close parentheses. And we observe that the value comes out as a negative number. Now, as we've done in the past, remember that the annuities are set up, these formulas use a cash flow uh, simulation, and so if we want this formula to be positive, and it should be to work with it, we should tweak it a little bit by putting a minus sign in front of the loan amount. That'll make it a positive number. Now, how do we find the total amount that we repay back? Well, that's just going to be the payment times the uh, total number of months, in this case, 360. Wow, so we're paying uh, back more than twice what we borrowed. And the interest, the amount the bank is going to make on this, will just be the difference between what we repay back and the amount of the loan. Okay, so there we have a nice little template Let's see what we can do here. Uh, if we notice that our rate is 6% and our monthly payments become uh, almost $900 here, 899 what would happen if uh, someone is offering us a rate of a little more than 6%, say 6 and a quarter, a quarter percent, that's not going to matter too much, will it? So 0. 0.0625, we can enter that into the rate and check it out. Well, we see that the monthly payment now has gone up to $923 a month, so we've monthly payments have increased by $23. Now, what would happen if we would could investigate and see, well, maybe we want a 25-year loan instead of a 30-year loan or maybe a 20-year loan, uh, although I think the standards are 30 and, and uh, 15, but we'll try a 20 here putting 20 into, we see that the now the monthly payment, that six and a quarter, goes up to uh, almost $1,100, so it's uh, increased again some more. Well, there you have it. You can see how you can use one of these templates to play around to estimate what costs would be. They can be used to uh, you can set your targets as to what you can afford before you go in to discuss things with people. Well, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in another podcast.